So guys, to fix your Bluetooth device not working in Windows 10, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're going to have Bluetooth right here. You want to expand Bluetooth. I don't have it, but you're going to have Bluetooth. You want to expand it. And then you want to find your Bluetooth device. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for device installed. And now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down till you find all the Bluetooth services. So, we're going to start with the first one, the Bluetooth Audio Gateway Service. You want to double click on it. And then you want to change the startup type to automatic and then click on start. Which will then make the service running and then click on OK. Now for the second one, support service, do the same thing. Double click on it. Startup type, automatic and then click on start. And then click on OK. Third one, user support service, double click on it. You want to keep the startup type on manual, but click on start as well. So startup type manual, service status running, and then click on OK. Now once you do that for all three of them, now you want to restart two of them, and then keep the last one the same. So first with the Bluetooth Audio Gateway service, you want to click on it one time, and then click on restart the service. Now for the second one, support service, restart the service. And now for the third one, you can't restart it, so just keep it like this. And now for the last step, you want to head over to search, and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on additional troubleshooters. And then you want to scroll down and then find Bluetooth. You want to click on this and then you want to click on run the troubleshooter. And now if it detects any problems, it will fix it for you. If anything comes up, it will fix it for you. I'm using a virtual machine, so that's why it has not got Bluetooth installed. But once you complete all these steps, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.